I've been crocheting a lot, so that's what that is. But today I wanted to try something that I've been thinking about doing for a couple days. Um, basically, I found a noodle in my stove pan where things fall down in there. I went to clean it out and there was just this whole noodle. Let me show you this noodle I found. Where's my camera? There's my noodle! It's just, it appears to be 100% just burnt. There is no noodle left. It is only burn. And it looks real funky. It's funky. So, oopsie. Set that down gently. It's not leaving really any marks on my hands, so we'll see how this works. But I do art sometimes, and I like to use charcoal. So you can tell by this charcoal paper that I own. And I just wanted to see if this freaking noodle can make art. So, come on, come on in, and I'll show you if this noodle makes art. We're just gonna be over here trying and seeing if you can see things. I don't really do art videos, but I have a little piece of this paper. I've got my noodle, and over here I have all my actual charcoal supplies, which, like, maybe I'll use a blending stump or the eraser, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try and do, like, a portrait. Let's kind of see how this works. Wow, <laughs> so you can kind of see it existing. It's also such a weird shape to draw with. It's literally a macaroni noodle. <laughs> and then as soon as I blow it away, it looks like I've done nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and it was originally hollow, so I got it. Ah. Let's see. I don't have any. Mm. Maybe I will use this end. I have one of these blending stumps, but it has other charcoal on this end, so I'm gonna use this clean, cleanish end and try and see if I can blend in some of that pigment that's just sitting on top of the paper. Okay, I think that helped to, to kinda, maybe a little bit. Wow, this is going ridiculous. <laughs> what is this? Does this look like a person yet? I don't know. I'm trying to add more layers. It's not the most pigmented stuff. So, you can see, it's barely on my hands, whereas when I use actual charcoal, uh, it gets everywhere. I mean, all of this little stuff that I'm blowing off of the paper is now all over my couch and probably the floor, but I can vacuum that up. It doesn't seem to be, like, staining much, so that's cool. Let's see. Just make these look a little more intentional. 
Yeah, that, that looks a little more intentional. Alright. That's all the noodle I have left. The little noodle. I'm gonna put that right there. And let's take a look at this compared to the other one. Alright. So... I didn't sign this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I signed it. Can you tell that it's... It says AMB. Um, this is what I came up with. 100% noodle on paper. Um, since it's kind of an abstracty thing, the farther away you get, the more you can see the detail, I guess. But this is what it looks like. Um... It's real smudgy. There's no consistency. Overall, um, it made marks on the paper. Um, you could layer it up a little bit to get it darker. Like, this area is like one layer, and then this shadow under the chin and the bangs here were multiple layers, so that it didn't get very much contrast. Um, and I'll show you the original that I just did before this um, with actual charcoal so these are oh, let me sign that <laughs> there's the difference between noodle and charcoal if you've ever been curious about that this was wild um, hi I'm an artist uh, uh, uh. Like, I know this one's a little bit weird in some of the details. I'm like, what the heck did I do? Like, I should probably have erased and did my ferret just jump off of something. Um, I probably should have erased a little bit of, like, whatever's happening here. Like... <laughs> just trying not to smudge it. Alright, that looks a little bit better. Still... I'm gonna critique my own work, but overall, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. I had a fun because um, I just used a burnt noodle to make art, um, and that makes me feel pretty good. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, and maybe I'll do more weird art things in the future. <laughs> Have a nice day.